gas. So we just have some water here. Here would be, this is actually a new filter, but we can just assume that this is a filter that was used in the process of sterilizing. So it's a 0.2 micron filter. Mm -hmm. We have our PSI gauge to get our bubble point, And then we have the end tube to, to connect into the water. Um, so the first step would actually be to, to rinse the filter. Um, so we usually just pass a, you know, about five to 10 milliliters of water um, through the sterilization filter just to rinse it out. Um, Cause if it is dry, it will fail the test um, pretty much uh, right away. So once that's been rinsed, set that aside. Then we'll just fill that with air, um, so we have something to push against. And then we'll connect that to the front of the PSI gauge. Place the sterilization filter behind that. And lastly, we'll just take this slip tip uh, tube. Make sure it's on there good. And then that end will just go into the uh, the cup of water. And so now um, I'm gonna kind of hold it like this. You gotta apply a lot of pressure on the syringe to create that pressure in the syringe to push up on the PSI gauge. And all the while I'm looking for not necessarily one bubble or two bubbles, but we're looking for it has to be a, a continuous stream of bubbles. Um, so I'll start the process here. And I'm trying to get to 50 PSI where this one is rated. So I'm at 45 right now, so there's no bubbles. And now we're at 50 right there. So that's a lot of force. So if I continue to go harder, so 60 PSI was where the bubble point for this um, filter is at, and as expected as it was a brand new filter. Um, so it passed um, the test because it, um, the, it didn't reach its bubble point until 60, um, which uh, 50 was the one that it needed to pass. Can we so, see your hand? Um, so there's quite a mark on my hand, <laughs> which will be there for a while. Um, so it does require a lot of force um, to do. I mean, do you guys want to give it a shot? You want to see how hard it is? I, you know, I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, we tested on three random pharmacists just uh, based on availability, and two out of the three failed. They actually couldn't get up to the appropriate amount of pressure. Um, and one, one of them did it, but it was the same situation, painful hand at the end and was struggling to get it um, but that's that's the manual method for doing a bubble point test thank you yeah Thanks. thank you yeah that was a